What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of AV Astronomy. It is Monday the 30th and finally I've got some clear skies and according to the forecast this is probably going to be it for me um, till, till January honestly till the end of January when the moon's down again. I've really got to get some H alpha filters or some line filters so I can image during when the moon phases up. But anyway, I was debating between Rosette Nebula and M42, and I really was tossing back and forth over uh, going with the new QHY 183C or my Canon 77D. Um, with M42 and the scope setup I have, giving the seeing conditions, according to the forecast tonight, seeing conditions are not looking good. So I need as much leeway on pixel scale as I can get. So the 77D has a much larger pixel scale than the QHY 183C. So for that reason, I'm gonna stick with that camera tonight, And but I will be pairing it up with my William Optic 71 GT, um, mainly because it will help me get a little bit wider view of that target so I can hopefully capture a lot of the uh, dust clouds and nebulosity you know that surrounds m42 itself so just waiting for it to get a little bit darker here and a uh, little while here i'll be heading back out to the front to get everything set up guys first things first and that is let me start my programs here I feel like I'm imaging for the first time again using this camera the QHY 183 all right let's get this thing started all right, camera automatically connected in APT. Based on what I read online and recommendations in Cloudy Nights forums, uh, minus 15 for this camera is about, you know, pretty much a sweet spot. So that's what I'm shooting for. All right, that's cooling down. Let's make sure I got this thing pointed relatively at Polaris here, which it's not. too terribly off. I like to make mine a little more heavy on the weight side here. That's good. Now what I'm doing is balancing the declination, which is very back heavy. So a couple of things. I'm gonna scoot this up as far as I can. 
should help shift some of that weight. And that's really all I can do. I can move it up in the saddle too. All right, time to rotate the right ascension axis, 90 degrees. Boom. All right, pull arm, it's way off. Of course, uh, now we're gonna make the necessary adjustments to get this adjusted here. We're gonna do that by adjusting the azimuth knobs and the altitude knobs. Oop, wrong way. And right, now we're gonna make an adjustment in altitude. And I think it needs to be raised. I'm reading this right. Nope. Other way. No matter how many times I've done this, I feel like it's always guesswork. <laughs> Figuring out which way to go, up or down with this thing, north or south. Oh, we're almost there. All right. Nope. Back it up just a tad. All right, since we have excellent, I'm good with that. All right, let's slew to Capella. CDC. I just typed in Capella here. Let's see where where it goes. Hopefully that's close to Capella. All right, guys. So I had to make a few changes. I had to go back to the DSLR. I was having all kinds of issues with the QHY 183. It was freezing up, like it was just lagging, hanging rather. Um, and I noticed that the sensor itself was doing up as well, even though I did a gradual stepping process for the temperature. And um, yeah, so gonna have to work out the kinks on that, I guess, but everything's looking good here. Nice sharp focus with the DSLR, albeit at an extremely long back focus. I did not anticipate having to move that to that amount of distance. But anyway, we're locked in on Sirius right there focus or about to go to our target okay okay no session is without its hiccups that's for darn sure so I'm 113 seconds into this test sub at ISO 400 and I'm hoping it comes out looking pretty good because I'd like to work with this lower ISO to try and squeeze out more dynamic range heck if uh, if I can, I might even go 200, so we'll, we'll see, though. All right, guys, despite the hiccups I've had this evening, these test subs are coming out awesome. I mean, i got to show you this. These, uh, these, these subframes look like they've already been stretched. That's how good the signal-to-noise ratio, ratio, signal-to-noise ratio is in these frames. So really, really pleased with what I'm getting so far. I've set it for 45 frames, which is about three hours from now, so I'll check on it periodically. In the meantime, I'm going to go inside, warm up, and enjoy a cold brew. And then I'll come back out when that's done to do the uh, short little 10, 15 second frames to tame that core for post-processing. All right, guys, we're about 10 subs in. Um, not quite a third of the way <laughs> through, but... Uh, Making some good progress here. They're still looking really good. Let's check the dithering, see how the guiding's holding up. And it's holding, it's holding on. I'm averaging about 1.18, which the pixel scale for this scope, this focal length is like 1.8, 1.9, so well within the range of the pixel scale, so I'm looking good there. All right, guess I'm gonna go let this run, keep doing its thing. And it looks like I've still got a good couple of hours ahead of me, so I'm going to go back inside and warm up. Everybody is asleep but me. It is 12.30, and the wife and kids are passed out. Yep, this is what's going down in my house. Well, well there's there's Linus. He's the, uh, he's the last of them. He's awake with me. Old geezer. Alright guys, almost done here, 21 out of 30 frames are done, this means I've got another, what is it, 
nine. I'm too tired to do the math on this. I don't know, maybe five minutes. <laughs> five minutes left on this. Um, man. I know this is going to look awesome when it's done and it's been processed, but I am ready to pack up for the night. 2.24 a.m. I started this at 8. So, yeah. Whew. Before this is all said and done, though, you guys are going to get to see the finished image here, which I'm feeling really good about, by the way. Um, these subs look great, and even these little short 20-second subs are, are looking really clean, too. So looking forward to seeing what this final image is going to look like. All right, so the other night was not actually the smoothest um, imaging session I've had. I don't know that I've ever had a super smooth imaging session anytime I've imaged, but uh, the, it was definitely a more challenging evening. And I kind of saw that coming with trying out the new camera. So I'm going to keep working out the kinks with the QHY 183C so that hopefully by end of January when the uh, moon's down again, I can give it another go. But um, overall, y'all, I am very pleased with the result I got with my modded 77D on the William Optic 71 GT. I will note though, using that scope without a focal reducer, field flattener, uh, you're definitely gonna see some field curvature. I mean, it's severe. Luckily in Photoshop, there's a couple tools you can use to mitigate some of that and then of course crop the rest. So given the image scale I was using, it's worked out in my favor, but there's still, you can notice in the corners, there's still a little bit of field curvature, but it's not bad. One of my goals in imaging this target, because you see so many people that do this one, you know, it's one of the most popular targets. And uh, the typically when you see it, it's M42 and the running man, and that's it. Like there's no dust clouds or nebulosity in between them. And truth is there's a lot going on in between those two nebulas. So my goal was to capture as much of that as I could. So it's the reason why I went with the lower ISO it boosts the dynamic range, so I went with an ISO 400 and uh, was able to pump out four minute subs at ISO 400, and it really did a good job in helping me retain that dynamic range so that I, when I started stretching the data, um, you could really see a lot of the, that interstellar dust come to life. So really pleased with it. Anyway, I know you've been waiting to see the final results, and I'm going to be showing that here shortly. But before I do that, please hit the like button and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you won't miss out on any future videos that are going to be covering tutorials, imaging sessions, and gear. So until next time, guys, clear skies.